my name is lalit patil today i will explain voltage control oscillator using operational amplifier let's start with what is a voltage control oscillator so voltage control oscillator the name itself says that the output instantaneous frequency of the oscillator is controlled by the input voltage So it is a kind of oscillator which can produce output signal frequency over a large range, that is few hertz to gigahertz, depending on the input DC voltage given to it. So there are many applications. In that application, some control voltage are generated, and due to that control voltage, uh, proportional frequency has to be generated. For such application, we have to use this voltage control. If you see the block, you can see that in the simple block, the control voltage is VC here, and from using the control voltage VC, the out proportional output voltage uh, has to be generated. Now we can see this uh, graphical illustration. In the graphic graphical illustration also, we can see that as the control voltage is uh, goes on increasing, proportionally uh, frequency also gets increased. At nominal control voltage. represented by a uh, nominal control voltage and the oscillator work at its free running normal frequency so that means what this indicates that hc minimum hc max are there ideally if you say the control of the uh, voltage control oscillator should work ideally from zero to infinite voltage and you should generate uh, some dc voltage from zero volt to uh, higher frequency gigahertz or infinite input voltage but practically it is not possible practically there is a some uh, range compliance range are also uh, always be there so that compliance range means you know, is a vc nominal means that the control voltage a center point at that center uh, control voltage the uh, center frequency is generated and above and below control voltage there is a minimum and maximum frequency generated so the same thing as as control voltage decreases from nominal voltage frequency also decreases and nominal control voltage increases frequency also get increases so this is a nothing but the maximum and minimum range is given by the control, minimum and maximum uh, control voltage so now just look at this circuit diagram in the this is a voltage control oscillator using the op amp so we can uh, there is a different uh, circuits are available which can generate the uh, frequency using this control voltage using pi pi timer also we can generate the frequency but now this is the operational after using the operational amplifier just we will see so first we will see that uh, what is the different uh, uh, circuits or parts in this particular circuit diagram so first part you can see this this is a v1 is a control voltage this is a 1 volt uh, is applied uh, to this third particular circuit uh, you can apply anything depending on the what is your configuration now suppose you can now just observe this r1 and r2 are two resistors are there which forms a voltage divider network and the output of the uh, voltage divider net network is applied to the non inverting terminal so we know that non inverting terminal offers a very high input impedance so there is a negligible current flowing through this voltage divider that's why we can apply a voltage rewarder rule it to this r1 and So whatever the control voltage we are applying, the half of voltage will appear at uh, non-inverting terminal. Now, just this is the first op amp. You can see that if you just observe this, this is the uh, integrator circuit, basic integrator circuit. Are there? This is R1, which is a 2R, 2R, and this is the R. This is a uh, deliberately some combinations uh, are done here. So we will see that this why this R and 2R combinations are. We uh, made in this particular circuit in the operation. Now this is the feedback capacitor. Are there uh, is used uh, in integrator circuit. Now there is another uh, A2 operational amplifier uh, that you are used, and this particular configuration is a symmetric circuit. So this is the inverting symmetrical symmetrical circuit. so we can say the feedback resistor r4 and this r3 uh generates some beta 
which is again the point five beta because both resistor are same so we can say r3 upon r3 plus r2 so it is generated beta so what is the output we are getting half of the output is fed back to the non inverting terminal now another one we can see the output of the this uh, schematic trigger circuit this again given to the this mosfets okay, and which keep which can be turned and off by using the saturation voltage plus and minus saturation voltage which can generate it by the schematic trigger circuit okay so output waveform of this vco will be the square wave solvate and output frequency is related to the control voltage so we have to see the operation how this how the voltage if i change the, this v1 voltage how the frequency of the output voltage square wave get change and the triangular wave also gets change so we will see the operation so now in this operation we can see that as i told you that uh, uh, this is the voltage divided into r1 and r by uh, r1 upon r1 plus r2 so always voltage at non inverter terminal is v by 2 v by 2 is v1 is nothing but we are consider the vi there okay so this is vi by 2 now integrator circuit is a linear circuit okay so linear circuit that we we have applied negative feedback to this particular circuit schematic trigger circuit is a non linear circuit where we apply positive feedback if in this integrator if i apply the negative feedback ab negative feedback and it is a linear circuit so one concept that it is a inverting integrator so one concept that virtual short concept is applied here so we can say non inverting uh, terminal is at vi by 2 so inverting terminal also at vi by 2 okay right now uh just consider just uh, we will see that uh, due to this uh, already we know that the schematic trigger circuit always uh, uh, in between only two stage because it we are also called as a bisectional multivibrator so there are only always there are two stage minus this side and plus this side so just timing we consider it is a minus this side is the first condition will appear at the output of the schematic trigger so the minus this side is the output of the schematic trigger is applied to the q1 and we can say the q1 is off because mosfet will turn on when the gate voltage is greater than threshold voltage so your minus is and then it is a negative value so out mosfet will be in off condition so when mosfet will be the on condition so current due to the vc is flowing through the 2r and c1 so same current will flow through i1 and C1. So equation now we can apply the KVL rule there. So VI minus VI by two, VI by two upon two R equal to VI upon four R. So VI by four R current is going to the two R and the feedback capacitor, right? So if I apply a positive voltage to the integrator, so we know that. a negative ramp is generated at the integrator circuit so this negative ramp is compared with uh, the threshold voltage which is generated due to the minus this side if negative ramp is more than minus vt more than minus vt that means v minus is greater than okay v plus So what will happen? So it will change the state to plus V side. Now, when it is plus V side, now again this plus V side voltage is applied to the transistor Q1, which will get turned off. So now we have the current which is flowing to the 2R has given us shortest path, and now all the current is flowing to this resistor 10K. So what is the equation? Now we can say the current flowing to this 10K is the I. So now this is a VI by two, VI by two upon R. So current we can get it upon R is two I. So what is the current I? Is current flowing through the this two R also, and the current flowing through the C one also. The capacitor is now discharging through this, uh, charging through this uh, uh, path, and we are getting 
positive run. Now, due to this positive run, this positive when the positive run is more than plus Vt value because it's due to the positive is that now there is a threshold voltage is positive. So again, it will change the state. So now we can see that. So it is square where we generated. And now it is continuously in the running condition. So at the integrator circuit, we are getting a triangular wave. And at the output of the stimulus trigger circuit, we are getting a square wave. So as we change the VI, I1 and I get changed. And we can say the negative slope of the negative and positive ram will get changed. And if accordingly the slope, we are getting the square wave output which is directly proportional to the control voltage and if you want to find the frequency the frequency in the voltage control oscillator depends on the directly proportional to the control voltage but also inversely proportional to 8 rc plus v stack minus of minus v stack value so these are this is nothing but the voltage control oscillator using the operational 